out? Yep. 80? It's 85. Okay. <coughs> 20.3 minutes. What are you doing there, Matt? I'm uh, indexing the scope. I'm used to my Schmidt and Bender. This thing's a little weird. Alright. So, 14, 15, up to 20.3. So. Okay. I'm going to say zero on the wind, probably. I don't got any Mirage, really. Anyone else got optics? No. no. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to spot for myself, huh? Okay. I have no idea. Ready? Oh. I was about three inches right above the center of the head. So it was, uh, it's either hotter or it's closer. Just a second here. Alright, I'm just going to hold low, about a mil. Oh boy. Okay. Index 17 minutes. So you see the one on the left there? Mm -hmm. Kind of turning counterclockwise. Keep going. You got to go a whole turn. See, see them numbers? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're going to go past 15 and then you start over again. So once you get to zero, that's 15. Right now start adding. 16 and then number two would be 17. There we go. On sight. On sight. Green light. Take your time. Hit. Good shot. Green light. Hit. Did you see where he hit? I, no, I didn't. Are you in bullet chase? There's what a 1016, or what was it? But at that range, look at what these, uh, uh -huh. It, the, the center part where the ballistic tip was, see the paint is still on the target there. Triceratops would flip the Ankylosaurus. No. And then poke it in the belly. Ankylosaurus is too low to the ground. I don't think it would do very good. That's why it's got the three horns. Ankylosaurus is armored as crap, man. There's no way. They don't got armor on their belly. Yeah. You'd flip the Ankylosaurus. Uh, sure it is. Triceratops will push him back off of a cliff until he is on his back. I don't think so, man. 
Oh, you gotta watch National Geographic. Matt'll highlight them for you. I got your mate. On the bank. Oh. Oh. <laughs>